Hi guys, welcome back to another installment of most unpopular and honest opinions about pop vocals and vocalists, where, you know, we are brave and share our opinions. I'm tired of disclaimers and I have faith in you guys, so without further ado, let's get into it. Jessie J has a justified but unfortunate reputation of an of a singer. I mean... Well, baby, we love tonight. It's not about the money, money, money. We don't need your money, not the money, not the money. We just want to make the world dance. Forget about the... Break it down. Yeah, but the thing is that she's actually improved on her musicality and restraint, allowing her skills to shine properly. Me. Wow. Wow. Just be true. This is a big one. A less popular slash non-mainstream vocalist doesn't equal vocally underrated singer. For example, a singer like Jojo, do I wish she was more popular? Hell yeah, Tori Kelly, similar thing. But are they vocally underrated? Mm, not really, if anything, people actually love and know them for the vocals. Fozia may be an underrated artist, but an underrated vocalist? I don't think so. An example of an underrated vocalist would be Madison Beer, as of recently, or Lady Gaga or Beyonce, because their vocals get overlooked among their other strengths. Whether it's looks, their outfits, their stage presence, it doesn't matter. In this context. Leah Michelle, maybe a beep, but damn, she's good. It hurts. So vocal technique is important, don't get me wrong, but vocal technique will not fix. For example, working on your vocal technique may help to improve your tone, sure, but your voice will most likely always carry some of the characteristic qualities it naturally has. There may be a singer with a great technique, but the truth is that if you don't enjoy the sound of their voice, you're probably not gonna listen to them. And that's okay. Christina Aguilera has had many memorable performances over the years, but her best, most special one is for a fact, without a doubt, her one and only performance of I'm OK, and I will not compromise on that. Once upon a time, there was a girl. In this performance, Christina's voice becomes the vessel for the song's message and fully serves the music and nothing else. It hurt me to see the pain across my mother's face. Yet goes of a broken child screaming, please no more. It's truly a performance like no other. Who knows, maybe I should make a full video on this. We'll see. Overly quick and never vibrato is annoying. Make it, 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 make it,
but overly slow and deep one is just as bad. Don't get it twisted. Mariah Carey's rendition of Paddy LaBelle's If You Only Knew, Some Over the Rainbow is one of the best covers ever. A brilliant performance from start to finish, only solidifying Mariah as the vocal legend that she is, showing her musical class, intelligence and taste. A spectacular job. Whether you like it or not, vocal agility is one of the biggest facets that people use to determine one's vocal prowess. It's a very popular and well-liked skill. I mean, look at the question from the poll I've made. You can see that vocal agility is the best, somewhat objective thing people look for in a great vocalist. <laughs> And I'm not surprised. Honestly, I am tired of hearing that K-pop idols are untalented or just about looks, when most of your faves haven't even put third of the time and effort which K-pop idols put into mastering their craft. Even though I'm not particularly crazy about this clip of Britney Spears singing in her bathroom, those apple belts are beyond surprising and impressive. Who would have thought that after all these years, she would still have that in her? With some training and technical guidance, she could become a terrific vocalist. I'm so glad and I can't wait to hear more. Also to those laughing at some of the vocal imperfections here, especially fighters, cut Britney some slack, okay? SM Entertainment doesn't really let Espa sing. I don't think you need me to tell you that they don't sing live during their stage performances, right? Uh, I mean, I hope so. Even in the behind the scenes video in the recording studio, where you'd expect to hear the members' 100% raw vocals, there is clearly some sort of effect or filter put on their vocals. But she can't sing. It is a shame really, because these girls are promising vocalists, not equally good, but promising, and not giving them more chances and opportunities to sing will not help their skills, that's for sure. SM, get it together. But it's true that K-pop industry is becoming more and more dance focused, and an average K-pop idol is a better dancer than a vocalist. I'm curious about Holodomix are gonna handle and possibly rearrange their harmonies as a trio. Because believe it or not, Jessie has played an important role in their harmonies by balancing the sound, adding warmth and depth. I will be saying this till the day I die, probably. Potential is just what it is. Potential itself doesn't matter much. 
but what you do with it. Potential is great, but it needs work and development in every single case. So guys, I guess that will be all I have for you in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. See you in my next one. For now, bye guys.